Willow, thanks for joining me today. Can you tell me a little bit more about child safeguarding? Um, how is it different to child protection and why do we need to know about it? Um, the best way to think of child safeguarding are the things that you can put in place to prevent abuse from happening. So for example, like safe recruitment, having a child protection policy, staff being trained and really just having a culture within an organisation that is really looking at a prevention space rather than the reactive space which is reacting to child protection concerns. It sounds to me like child safeguarding is, is really a collective responsibility. Why is that culture so important that people know what their role is? We're all stakeholders, so we've all been children, we're all parents, brothers, sisters, aunts and uncles. Um, so it isn't just the responsibility of organisations, it isn't just the responsibility of government, it's everybody's responsibility because we will have all been in situations where we know that it's not safe or maybe it makes us feel uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. And rather than as being a bystander, actually step up and speak up for that child so that we can improve things for them. That is exactly what safeguarding mm. is. That values and strength based yeah, approach to absolutely. make sure that those yeah. positive experiences are happening. Yeah. yeah, brilliant, brilliant. If we're talking about like a child centred approach, what does that look like? So for me, it's the fact that um, children are at the centre of it. And if the children were not there, then we wouldn't be there. So it's important that everything that we do has um, a focus on the children. What are they actually getting out of it? So I'm really keen on capturing the voices of children to find out what their experiences are so that the, the activity that they're involved in is child focused and not adult focused and really cascading that outwards mm -hmm. so that um, parents are aware of that, that coaches are aware of that and that the whole of the organisation and the culture of the organisation is very driven by that. So it's very um, child focused rather than being adult focused. What advice do you have for um, people or organisations that, that don't know where to start? Um, I would just go and have a look initially at the Sport New Zealand website and just have a read really and gather more information and then um, have a flick through, look at the different sections and that'll just give you an idea of the type of things that needs to be in place and then for me it would be having those conversations and maybe getting a group of interested people together mm -hmm. and go from there. Well, Willow, thank you so much for your insight today. It's been really helpful to get a bit of a perspective on, on child safeguarding, some, some key tips and guidance for, for people trying to start their journey. If you want to check out any other content, um, like you've said, around checking out the SportNZ website and also the Safeguarding Children website, it would be a, a great way to start.